I have to warn Leo because he is seconds away from getting popped. Okay, so where's my... There you go. Got a car right here. Let's hold to pick lock because I'm not trying to smash. Okay, got that. Got that one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I messed up. Okay, let me be a little bit patient. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Come on, come on, hurry up. Oh, this car's a little bit slow, but you know what? A car is better than no car, am I right? This music's not helping either. It giving me a lot more anxiety than I should be experiencing, but screw it. Oh shit. I'm not trying to hit the cop now. I know they want to off Leo based off of what Henry informed them, but like what Vito said, Leo Leo was like a dad to him. He he was there for him at his darkest moment. He basically helped him make his jail experience a little bit more bearable. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. The time is moving so fast and yet I feel like, ooh, I feel like I'm going slower and slower by the second. I'm trying not to be too reckless to be suspicious with the cops, but at this point I have no choice. Time is not by my side. And if I don't make it in time to warn Leo about his ultimate fate, I would not be able to live with myself. Just like in Mafia 1, Tommy didn't want, what is it, Frank to die? So he let him go with his family by airplane. That's the same thing I'm doing with Leo. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. If me warning Leo about his possible assassination attempt may be the catalyst to my downfall, is this the start of the end for Vito? Hold on. Oh gosh, don't tell me I missed. Don't tell me I missed. Wait! 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. Okay. Move. Get out! Get out! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so let's start again. I know where Child, he is it. right now, so it's not too bad. I can't believe Move! Hurry up! Oh my gosh. Vito! Damn! Okay, you know, you know I can't do well with high, uh, intense situations like this. Okay. Got that. Got that. Got that. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you, Mafia 2, for giving me another chance to do this mission. I know in real life he would have been dead because I would be the one to drive past his house without me realizing. Like, do 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 do, slow moment, am I right? But yeah, I definitely gotta warn Leo because he has done so much for me. I just can't imagine. Ooh. Oh gosh. All right, come down, come down, come down. It doesn't make sense to smash everything in the midst of panic, okay? Not only are you going to ruin your car, but you're going to further delay your chance of saving Leo. 
I just, I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Do you believe Leo should of a speeding deserve vehicle. to die? Great, now I got Copy the cops that. on me. Now I got the cops on me. The handling in this machine is horrendous, by the way. I shouldn't be struggling to turn like that, but I am, actually. I would be the one to get a really horrible vehicle. But like I said, a vehicle is better than no vehicle. Am I right? The music's not helping either, honestly, but I guess that's what makes it so fun and dramatic. Am I right? The high intensity, anxiety written music wondering if I'm able to make it or not. Hopefully the second time I will because the first time that was a little bit of a slow moment on my end. I am so sorry, Leo. You definitely deserve someone who actually knows where they're going for once. Come on, Vito. Can you step on the gas, please? This is a life and death situation here. Oh, the traffic. The traffic is horrendous. There is too many cars in this area. A suspicious amount of cars in this area. And for what? And for what? Okay, whatever. Oh, get out. Okay. Can I... How do I get... Le Le Vito, come on. Come on, Vito. How do I... Kick the door. Thank you. Finally. Stop it. Can I run? Can I run? Oh, gosh. Hurry up. Hurry up. Leo? Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shut Leo, Leo, up, put it know. away. It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, want are you drink. serious, Leo? What the fuck is wrong okay, with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know? Yes. I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you. Stop talking for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Okay, Shit, too cool. late. They're here. Oh, shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Oh, great. So we gotta escape. Let's go. This is horrendous. How are we gonna do this? Wait, the back. Oh, this is perfect. Get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Sheets from the laundry? Okay. So where's the sheets from the laundry? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I still say we should shoot the bastards. Uh Leo, where is your laundry room, sir? Because this is uh This is going. Oh great, I got caught. Get easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. So there was no way for me to escape, huh? Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anything was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. Shit. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Leo. Look, Leo told me Henry. that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? 
The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Guido, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. Are you it's serious, It's not Leo? worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Vito. Go. Are you serious, Leo? Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Damn, Leo. Damn, Leo. Oh, this hurts. And yes, this is the moment when Vito... He's not gonna forget this. I'm so sorry, Vito. Look at him shaking. Oh, gosh. You owe me big for this one, pal. Of course. What? Hey, kid. Leo. What? You want a drink? What the yes! hell? Yes! Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, oh, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Yo, I'm so happy! Okay, let's go. Let's get Daddle here. This big house. Okay. Should we leave in the front? Should we leave in the back? What do we do? Right in the back, right? Come on. There has to be a way for me to get the car. Yeah, the car is right here. Okay. Ooh. Dude, let's drive here. It's a nice beauty. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me, but now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than I'm dead in a three-piece suit. How do I get... Okay, how do I get out of here? Because this uh, is annoying. You to tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Let's open the gate. Open the gate. Thank you. All right. At least Leo appreciates the fact Thanks, that I tried saving him, you know? You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. And what did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. Sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. If Carlo wants me dead, then sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. But nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. That was my choice, Leo. All you did was speed things up a little. Besides, what the hell else was I gonna do? Go work on the docks like my old man? <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, kid. I am so grateful so and what are your thankful plans, for Henry. Though? Looks like you're entered up to your neck right now. I don't really got any. I guess I just want to make a shitload of dough and not get my head blown off in the process. Ah, real original. It ain't as easy as it sounds, kid. Trust me on that. All right, let's go. Come on. The train station's right here. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never going to be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. You're important, Leo. Come Enjoy on. Your vacation, old man. Is he going in? Yeah, he's good. He's safe. Yeah, it was a stupid move on my end, but dude, Leo did a lot for me. He did a lot for Vito. 
been deep, though. All right, he's good. Let's go. I can't stay here and watch him, so... He's safe. By tomorrow, he'll be at a different place. Having a different life, you know? And that's good enough for me. Time for me to go home. And, dude, I got myself a nice car. Like, look at his beauty. The color on this car is so nice. So basically, Leo knew all along he was going to get whacked. I don't know how I feel about that. Was he kind of like ready to die at that moment? I mean, he did say he lived a long life and he... he it, it was almost as if he was ready to just abandon his mafia life for good. Vito, if you've learned something from today, Realize that even though the Mafia life may seem like a good ticket to a better life compared to your parents, it's not the type of life that you want to be in forever. Clearly, I mean, look at Leo. I mean, he was willing to just give up everything. And that's an old man. That's an old man who was just ready to just end it all. That's sad, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, let's park let's park here. No, let's let's park. There you go. Cause that's a nice garage, I'm not gonna lie. Why do I keep on doing that? Frankie, what what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't wanna see him ever again. Oh, who? See who see who? Eric! Your husband, why? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Oh, and he does he hit you? No. But he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. No. Oh, oh, hell no. No, Vito. Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's going to be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. Mm, I won't don't kill I'll him. I'll talk some sense into him, okay? I can't promise that I won't hurt him, but I won't kill him. That's the best I can do, honestly. I just don't get it. The audacity. To put his hands on my baby sister. Ah. What of a hit and run driver. the hell Roger that. is this? What the hell is this? Anyways, I'm gonna go and talk some sense into him, quote unquote. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. The audacity to think it's okay to hit a woman. But to me, that's just in general. The pursuit of a speeding vehicle. The audacity <laughs> to hit anyone is disgusting. There are many ways to solve a dispute without putting your hands on your wife. But sometimes we just gotta fight violence with violence. And this is one of the cases here. Come on. Take poster? Oh, that's cute. Where is this guy? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Well, well, well. Where is this guy, hmm? Where is he? River Street, right? River Street? Someone's snoring. Ooh, sorry, excuse me. What the heck? Sir, are you okay? Wow, is this a spot? Ooh, oh, hell no. They're just drunk out of their minds. What? I just love how... Eric. He is cheating. Eric. What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I should kill you. 
I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. <coughs> I'll teach you to hit a woman. Ooh, dodge, dodge, dodge. There you go. Let's go. That hits. Ooh, okay. Sweet. Boom. Boom. All right, let's go. You are a real piece of work. Am I right? How are you going to go and marry my sister just so you can cheat on her? Pig. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And what? Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're going to stay home. Stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever... Ever here, she's not happy. I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Bastard. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So he was cheating on her. Oh, my goodness. Disgusting pig. I just don't understand. Why would you cheat? Why? If you don't want to be with your spouse anymore, then leave your spouse. How hard is that? Seriously, how hard is that? Let me go ahead and pick the lock here. I just don't understand. Ah, oh, damn it. I would never cheat on my girl. So, why is it okay for people to cheat? Hmm? Why? Why? If you're so unhappy, leave the person. So stupid. And then on top of that, he's putting his hands on my sister. Some nerve. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Oh no, this Roger sucks. That. This sucks. Excuse me, I'm leaving. I am leaving. They're not going to catch me. They're going to be like, oh, where he at? Where he at? But anyways, I don't know. I'm just so disappointed with this man. And it's not my sister's fault. You can't really predict on whether or not the person's going to be good to you all the time. But at least try and make a fair judgment. And I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel sorry for my sister. That man is disgusting. He's a pig. She does not deserve a man like that. All right, let me check on her, see if she's okay. Come on, stop doing that. Anyways. Who is calling me? You know, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I, I don't know you anymore. What do you mean? Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? What? Just, just stay away. <laughs> I don't understand. You want me to, to talk to him, so I did. Unfortunately, I also talked to him with my fist. And now you want me to stay away? That don't make any sense. That is so aggravating. I need to sleep. Who's coming? Who's coming to my house? Watch the place. Do it now. Born. <laughs> you Dago cut. Born. <laughs> my house. Fuck. Honestly, let's leave. Oh, shoot. Uh, jump out. Excuse me. Who the hell torched my place? Oh, ow. Oh, I need to leave. Oh, gosh. You don't leave. Can you not run any faster, Vito? Am I? Oh, my God. This is crazy. This is insane. Okay. 
Wow, this is insane. Oh gosh, they're still trying to shoot me. Vito, can you run fast or not? Nah? Can you jump? Oh, I can't even fucking jump. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. They're torturing my place. I'm being shot. This is ridiculous. If I get killed just because I ran the other way, I'm gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to go? Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go steal a car, right? And then I'm gonna go with Joe's. This is ridiculous. Who are they shooting at? Oh, the cops. That's perfect. Yep. Get Hello. Out of there. Come on. Thank you. Please leave. I'm trying to leave. Thank you. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not in the mood for any type of radio. Oh, gosh. I can't believe this. They torched my place. I'm half naked. I don't have any guns. I managed to steal this taxi. My sister doesn't even want me in her life anymore, even though I actually helped her situation. But whatever, I, I just don't understand. How are you gonna ask my help? And then when I do help you, you get upset? And Haiki, he deserved his ass to get beat. For not only cheating on you, but he, you know what? I should have told her, yeah, I saw him with another girl. So I punched him, but no. I feel like she was being ungrateful for her to be saying that to me. That don't make any sense. You know what? In my eyes, Vito did the right thing. He really did. So... I don't know. This is just sad, really. This is ridiculous. It's like you're trying to help someone, and if they don't like the way that they help, if they don't like the way that you help them, it's like they're not satisfied. Really, this is ridiculous. And I'm actually pretty disappointed. I just don't like how things are going, and I can definitely tell this is truly the start of a downfall. Okay, so thankfully I'm able to go with Joe's. I just wish she's not... I hope he's not gonna, like, not help me or anything. Dude, I am in my boxers and undershirt. Like, this is crazy. Hold on. Joe, are you here? Come on, Joe, please open up Come the door. On, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Wake up, Joe. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on. I'm about to bust open this door and I'll fix it later. I'm coming. I'm coming. What were you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. I, I'll fix you a drink. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, what man. the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh, different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, so Joe. what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. Tell me about it. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.